Hey there guys, Black Panther here, welcome to Forza Motorsport. Finally got myself an Xbox One and it is time to enter the driver's seat of the McLaren P1 to start us off in this game and I thought I'd show you my first run on the game, well my first run on my own console anyway. So uh, let's press A to open the door. Oh, Climb in. really nice. So uh, the P1, the only game I've driven the P1 in would be uh, probably a mod. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty cool to drive the actual thing in a game. So let's hope it actually lets me drive it. It's not just Start teasing the car me. To begin the race. Well, I'm guessing that's what you got to do. Uh, but I like that you can go around in the cockpit view. I'm hoping that you can do this on actual tracks. I don't know if you can. Shows how little I know about force. I know you can in the, like the in the shop thing. The, I, I don't know if you can on the track. But this is. It's quite detailed, really. Anyway, can I close the door first? No. It's just going to automatically, instantly close for me. And up goes the spoiler. That is cool. That is very cool. I thought it would go up like as the race kind of began. Because that's, that's what it does, right? Oh, here we go. Let's see how we do. Oh, God, the impulse triggers. They've been toned down since the last time I tried them. That's that's not as bad now. Oh god. Oh, it's not turning very well. It seems to be very stuck to the road. I don't like that at all. Ooh. I'm loving the cockpit view though. I've missed having a cockpit view on a brilliant looking racer. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. No, move. It's fine. He's fine. So's the car. God, this is great. This looks fantastic. It looks as, as fantastic as it does. Don't worry. I'm on the, on the actual videos and stuff that I've seen. It does look good. Like, after going from GT5, you can just tell... Uh, GT5, GT6, this has got a lot more put into it. But obviously it's <laughs> last gen compared to next gen. Like, the cars on GT look a bit better to me so far, but um, they look, the, the world just looks really jaggy and, and off, whereas this, this is really uh, got it right. God, that made me dizzy. <laughs> Please tell me I get to drive this for more than one lap. If I get to drive it for one lap, I'm going to be really disappointed. As long as it's a long lap, actually. I don't even know this track. But it's bloody blinding. <laughs> I'm loving this P1. It handles pretty well. Honestly, it looks as easy as it is. <laughs> I expected the handling to be a bit, I don't know, a bit more aggressive. But then again, it's probably got all the assists on and stuff, I'm guessing, at the start. Kind of makes sense to introduce little five-year-olds into the game and that sort of thing. I'll change them after I've done this race. Great way to introduce your game, though. Great way, indeed. Lap complete. Is that the race complete? The whole race is complete. I got a badge. Oh, I love these finished race cutscenes. Oh, God, I'm excited to play this game now. I've made. I'm a happy customer already, and I've done the first race, that race was only a <laughs> with taste a P1. Of the journey ahead of you. As we continue, you will traverse an epic automotive world full of fast cars, old rivalries, and new technology. Stop exciting me, woman! <laughs> it's just a racing game. It's fine. <laughs> Select your first car from this list and begin your career. This car okay. will take you through some of the best racing in the world. So choose the car that speaks to you. All right, so I got to choose my first car. Let's let's see what speaks to me. So, um, straight away, I did have in my mind something shouting the Golf. Though there are much much better options here, it would seem. I th I thought honestly it was a Sirocco, but it's it's not. Um, hmm, I'm not 100% on what I should pick. I'm thinking I want to go with. The Toyota GT86. Now, I've never had it, or... I don't know. I've never had that car. I've never driven that car in a game before. But it just feels and looks to me the most... Uh, sporty looking. I don't know. We'll go, we'll go with that. 
to stop faffing about. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be bad. Pulled from the cloud, recommended just for you. Oh yeah, the cloud designs. Okay. This list adapts to match your tastes. <laughs> and the first one that comes up is Afro Samurai. I absolutely love Afro Samurai. That is fantastic. It's, it knows what I like before I've even played the game. Have you been stalking me, Microsoft? Have you? Uh, but what else we got here? I like that. I like that pretty basic design as well, but I think what I'm going to do is go with the Afro Samurai one. It looks a bit crazy and wicked, but I haven't really had a car like that before. Like, because there's no customization on... Uh, on Gran Turismo or anything, that is very nice. Look at you, you free publicity guys, are you happy? I think what I'm going to do is go with a really crazy style. Um, though to be honest, I like that one. That's pretty sleepy and quiet and calm. But at the same time, this one is just like Afro Samurai. I'm going to go with Afro Samurai on my first car. <laughs> uh, it looks really weird, but I think I like it. Because I love Afro Samurai. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, we'll go with that. Don't want to do this. Uh, car is free, though. As you progressive to do credits. Okay, yes. Awesome. So we got ourselves an Afro Samurai car, and we drove a McLaren P1 in the space of the first video. I'm really enjoying this game. This is your 2013 Toyota GT86. Okay. It looks pretty, so I can just skip that now. This is your career home space. Oh, there we go. Come back here to access Forza Vista and customize your cars. Okay. Your first career takes you on a journey to five of the world's great racing venues. Is that all you're going to say? Okay, thank you. Today, we venture to the snow-capped mountains of the Bernese Alps in Switzerland. I think I see Tomcat drive this a lot. Yeah, this is the track he uses in drift videos, so... Maybe I know the track slightly, so I won't be completely lost, which is always great. Okay, so I want to check what assists this is we've a got here. Simulation uh, that features several assists to make driving approachable for everyone. In the okay, I'm gonna go with medium menu, for now. These settings to experience the full um, depth of this simulation. Yeah. Okay, so I want to see traction control and stability. Yes, steering normal. Uh, simulation. Let's go with normal, yeah. Uh, braking. Uh, there's like some weird percentaging. That's kind of weird. Okay, so assisted, ABS on, ABS off. So I want... Uh, uh, also the pressure and maximum braking. Okay, so I'm going to put ABS on. Cosmetic damage. I'm going to put... Yeah, keep with cosmetic damage. Shifting. Automatic for now, and as I said, that's steering. Everything, everything's fine there. I'll go with that for now. Just give it a go. If you've got any suggestions for that, make sure to let me know. Driver tar difficulty. Credits for taking on higher skill driver tars. Turn up the difficulty to increase your earnings. Okay, so driver tar difficulty. I'm gonna put um, highly skilled. I'm gonna see what that's like. Okay, hopefully that won't make you know me lose. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, so I'll go to the... Can we go to the starting grid? Oh, I thought it'd like let us look around the grid and stuff. That would have been cool. But no, it just lists the races. So let's just begin. Let's begin the race and see how we do. And Afro Samurai... I'm, I'm having second thoughts about this car. But I don't care. I'm going to get rid of it soon anyway, probably. So Afro Samurai car, let us go. All right, here we go. I want to use NOS. I'm just... I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm not that dumb. Okay, they are slightly pulling ahead, but I think I'll be able to get them well in the corners. Let's see. Once I actually know how this car turns, here we go. The turning, even though Simcade, it's to me a lot better than Gran Turismo. But that's because it, fun-wise, I think it just it just have it'll have that advantage. See, I'm, I'm drifting. Uh, not really, but <laughs> I'm slightly drifting by mistake with medium drip difficulty. I'm guessing you'll have to put like a lot of like all the stuff off and put it on hard. Or I don't really know. There'll be some stuff you need to do. But here we go. Doing pretty well so far. Just make sure I don't die. Move it, MX5. Good thing. I'm liking the handling. I really am. I'm hoping that Horizon 2 is similar to this. He says as he smashes into absolutely everything. But from what we saw 
on Horizon 2, it looks like it's going to slide a bit more. But I shall see. Can I, uh... I say, why is rewind? Oh, God. I don't know what to the button to change the camera angle is. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> why is rewind? So, I have no idea what it is. It might be some kind of, like, the select button. I don't think there is one. But, let's just focus on the race first. I'll figure it out afterwards. I think that would be wise. So I'm probably going to bump up the driver difficulty even more for the next race, because that was quite easy. We're one lap in, not even one lap, complete lap yet, and we are ahead of the competition, which is always a good sign. God, it's so great to play a new game, and I know it's not new, but... Oh, God! Okay. I lost control there. She's fine, though. I brought her back. Okay, no, he's... he's overtaking me. I haven't got any friends on Xbox Live at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I have no driver tar friends. I'm guessing these are just random people that are just, like, also around the same start period. I don't know. Or just maybe some of the devs. <laughs> I don't know. They might not even be actual people. Alright, car. There we go. That's, that's much cleaner. Could have been better, but I'll let you off because you're my first car. That thing is pulling ahead, though. That was actually going to be my first choice as well. <laughs> and it's doing quite well to keep ahead of me. But once I get into the corner bits over here, I think he's in for a surprise. Not really a surprise. He probably saw it coming. Sorry, window. That poor window. The poor me, I can't bloody see. It's irritating me. All right, here we go. This is where I caught a lot of them up last time. And I think I messed that up. Yeah, I'm rewinding that. I'm using the rewind feature for the first time. <laughs> uh, okay, so I press A to resume. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I've messed that up again. <laughs> I need to rewind a bit further. I was already sliding at that point. I couldn't tell by the bloody camera angle. All right, we'll go from here. I need to go a bit wider. There we go. That was better. So is that a Hulk car? Yeah, it is. I thought it was. <laughs> Bit of a interesting design. Just like the Afro Samurai one, I guess. But that one probably makes more sense to most people and they know what that is compared to my Afro Samurai one. I'm still keeping it. I don't care what you say. Afro Samurai car is staying. <laughs> Here we go. I can't see the line because I'm blind. The game is trying to blind me. It's using the environment against me. That's when you know it's a good game. <laughs> when the environment tries to kill you, it's a good game. It's a good designed game. <laughs> I love the choppers in the sky. They always, like, distract me, though. I'm like, oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, wall! Though, so far, we haven't gone head into any walls. I'm expecting to go through many, many barriers and walls and everything we can possibly hit in this game. Well, by about tea time, really. Oh, God, I almost lost her again. I just remembered that I could have really just rewound that mistake I made, but I think what I like to do is when I make mistakes like that, as long as I've got enough time, I think I just it's more rewarding uh, not using rewind or anything like that. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. But there we go. We completed the race. That difficulty was quite good, actually. I mean, I made, if you, I made one slip up, and that guy almost had me in the front. But hopefully, though, there is. I'm gonna set it up a bit higher, so race, there's a few people ahead of me up end. until the end. Credits help you buy new cars and upgrades. Thank you, thank you, woman. The, like, I, I, I expect her to say more, and then she just stops, and it's like, oh. Okay, so I've got some XP as well that I level up. Your driver level increases, you are rewarded with bonus credits. Oh, okay. So I got more money for leveling up by completing a pretty damn simple race than I did for winning the actual race. Interesting. Do I get to press next? Or is it just going to like make me sit here and watch the spinning credit thing? There we go. It's finally gone off. Your driver is collecting data on how you race, how you pass, and how you hit each apex. Aha! After a few races, 
Your drivatar will be ready to go out into the Okay, that's cool. Race on your behalf. So, does it only save the drivatar at that point or can you make it save it again after you've got much better at the game because right now I wouldn't like my drivatar to drive how I am. Anyway, Thank you ever so much for watching this first episode of, I was going to say Rivals. I'm I'm so sorry for insulting you, Forza. Forza Motorsport 5, it's weird saying that because Forza, I've never owned a Forza game. It's crazy. Anyway, I've seen that in this video, guys. Black Panther out. Make sure to let me know if you enjoyed by giving this video a like. And leave down below what you want to see on this game. I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make myself some Paul Walker cars. <laughs> I'll see you next video, guys. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>